final segment of the show for today. The topic is children in a digital world, and we have with us uh, Lana McLaughlin to uh, talk about this. And Lana, let's look at uh, some specific instances of uh, children involved in this digital world. I think we've talked about their use of instruments, the, uh, the availability and the uh, inability for them to have these instruments, but let's look at some of the things that happen in this digital world when they become involved in it. Now, one of the things that I think that is important, and I think you've indicated that you want to make some statements in reference to is this whole idea of cyber bullying. Let's talk about that. Well, I just cut to the chase and I know we're all thinking, oh, cyber bullying, pitch posh, it's just a bunch of kids playing. It's more than that. Cyber bullying is when you're on Facebook and the mean girls from school call you bad names such as uh, whatever and it really breaks your heart. I mean, I have had my friends I helped a friend, and she was on Facebook and stuff, and then a bunch of people started calling her names, and a bunch of people laughing at her. She moved states because of it, and she just had to escape. And it's, just, it's so wrong that people have to just go through all that trouble just to have it all like crushed away. They have to build up their reputation and all to have it crumbled away just because of one stupid comment. And, and you find that that, that that is quite common in terms of uh, the young people that you know in your age group, that they are being cyber bullied? Not much in my age group, because mm. I am nine, but a uh, bunch of like 13 and up teenagers and that tweens and teenagers, that's really where it comes in. That's where the cyber bullying really sits in. Mm -hmm. So like, I think we all know about slavery. That's a type of bullying because you get whipped if you don't do what you are asked to, if you don't do something right, and like substance abuse. That that's a type of bullying because you can get bullied because you drink alcohol and stuff. And you can get teased because if you're playing truth or dare at a party and you get uh, dare to drink some tequila, and they say, "Well, don't make her drink that. She's an alcoholic. She'll go crazy." And then also child abuse. That's a type of cyberbullying. Cause if you uh, if you have a child like two years old, she said, and you post on the internet, uh, "Look at my ugly child." What kind of parent does that? Some people do. Uh, and so you 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 are citing examples of what you know to be uh, instances of cyberbullying, and that it's it's that prevalent as far as you're concerned. It's, it happens that often. It's just it's just like how people think about bullying. You need to stop it. It's mean. Who want to do that? Because the people who do it, they probably do it because it has happened to them. And I think it's wrong because even though people do all this kind of stuff, you shouldn't really talk about somebody else, even though it happened to you. I don't believe in that revenge and I get back at people. Just talk it out. I mean, it could be you, people make a small intimacy problem into something as big as boom. It's just a, and, it's not that serious. And, and, and so you're saying that even when people have access to these digital devices, that uh, they ought to be careful in terms of how they uh, use these devices. They are very, very important and informative devices. They allow you to have a lot of education and information, but uh, they, you can have a wrong use of it. Is, is that what we're saying here? Yeah, I'm just saying chill out. It's not that big of a deal. Just sit back and have fun. The whole world will go round on its axis if you just stop bullying. I mean, it's not that big of a thing. Just be nice. Would it really kill you to do it? One time, one time, I think you indicated that uh, you had uh, participated in starting a anti-bullying uh, uh, thing at, at your school. Why don't you say something about that? I'm, what, what was the idea behind this? Well, I kept seeing people get bullied and I had my own personal experiences with that being called uh, ugly and stuff like that. And also other people getting hurt by it. So I thought maybe if I start an anti-bullying campaign, the more people that join, the more people who are convert over to non-bullying instead of converting over to bullying because they see somebody do it and think it's cool. And, and, and so you organized uh, this uh, anti-bullying campaign. What were some of the results of it? I mean, did you, do you feel that you, it had any real impact upon uh, the young people that you were uh, around? Yes, it did, because all the bullies, they started being nicer, and I saw a new light shine on everything, everybody that was in the group, because we would meet up, and I saw people smile ear to ear, and 
it will just it will make me smile. I mean, because it's just stopping people bullying it. It's not necessary. It's some, it's it's more of a want, not a need. It's something that you don't need to have in your life. You don't need that all that extra luggage. Mm -hmm. and, and and so you've experienced some some of this, and you've had an opportunity to counsel with uh, young people in, in your age group, and you find that there's a general feeling among them that uh, that, that they people ought not to uh, bully one another. Uh, and, and now, now, what would be uh, some of the uh, solutions that uh, perhaps these young people would think about in terms of trying to get around bullying? Well, one of the most common reasons of bullying would be anger. If, you, uh, if that's your problem, I suggest anger management classes. Or just go down and talk to a teacher or a counselor or somebody that will listen, like your parents. If they don't have time, talk to a sister or a brother, uh, uh, an older, uh, a wiser person. Uh, you can... You could go down, you could go to the church, just pray, ask God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and ask somebody to give you some guidance. And, 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 and they can therefore overcome this whole thing of either being a bully or uh, being bullied th through this kind of counseling. And this is the kind of counseling that you're giving uh, young people that you meet when, when, when th these issues come up. You know what's so mean? You don't even have an option. It's get be a bully or get bullied my vision is to give people an option do you want to stop bullying do bullying or get bullied and uh stopping bullying and getting bullied is it all ties together because if you stop it they're like ha 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 oh you're trying to stop bullying you're so stupid you can never stop me that's not true and and and, and so a lot of as we bring this uh a uh, session to uh, uh, a close, near a close today. Uh, so you, you're saying that uh, more young people ought to have access to uh, these new digital devices that, that we've talked about, and that you're also saying that uh, those individuals who often have access sometimes get caught into what you call cyber bullying. Mm -hmm. is, is, is that a point that we're making here? And that uh, in the end, it's important that people become much more aware of the impact that uh, bullying is having on uh, other people. Sadly, it's growing and more people are committing suicide because they just can't stand the heat. And I just want to tell you that everybody deserves to have a life. Everybody deserves to be treated like they want to be treated. And some people just can't stand the fact that other people are treated nice and other, or others aren't. And, and, and so people react to that. And you're finding all of these experiences, Lana, over the last couple of minutes that we have here. You're finding all of these experiences in, 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 in an elementary school uh, among eight and nine-year-old children. Is that what we're saying? That is, that, is it that common among young people? Yes. And though this um, fall in August, I am going to middle school, uh, I'm in fourth grade currently. If it, it's really, you're the main target in middle school because uh, in this fall I'm going to be the baby of the school again. And you know how when you were in pre-K, the uh, fifth graders, I mean fourth graders, they would look down to you and they, were, they should make an influence. So. And so you're going to be back right at the very, very beginning, but you're also being able to carry this information into a middle school, and you think that there's a real need for this kind of information in middle school uh, as much as there is in uh, the elementary schools? Is that what we're saying? Closing into this fall, I'll be ending when I started. And when I go to this middle school, everything's going to start again. New combinations, switching classes, eating everywhere. The whole thing. And, 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 but, but are you, the whole I package. Guess, but I guess you're prepared. Are you prepared to uh, go into a middle school now, Lana? you think that you uh, mastered uh, the elementary uh, situations that you found yourself in and that you can use these digital devices and that you can really move on into the middle school and be very, very productive? Uh, from this point on. Well, I'm getting to the boiling point right now, so I don't know if I'm ready, but I hope so. 